And folks here in western Washington still picking up the pieces from historic flooding weeks ago. And we are on flood watch for two rivers right now. Flooding, as we know, can turn families' worlds upside down. And organizations like the Red Cross provide help to those in need. So to learn more about how they can help right now, we are happy to be joined by Gail McGovern, the president and CEO of the Red Cross this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, Bill. Thank you so much for having me on your show. I appreciate it. Well, we appreciate uh, what you and your organization are doing for our community because we're on flood watch again this morning. I mean, how does the Red Cross help families when a disaster like flooding hits an area? Well, this has been one of the most active years for extreme weather, and your state has definitely felt the impact of that. And uh, I'm just so appreciative of our volunteers who see the need and just jump in. And my heart goes out to the people who have experienced disasters this year because it's really been coast to coast. Um, our volunteers just see that need and they jump in. Um, I visited the devastation after Hurricane Ida and just that one storm, we deployed 3,000 volunteers and uh, we gave out about a million meals and snacks and we had 44,000 overnight stays in shelters and that was just that that one disaster and you know you've been experiencing wildfires floods it's um it's really become very unpredictable i mean you all had a, a heat wave while texas was uh months earlier experiencing uh freezing weather so it's uh, it's been quite a year of disasters and everything we do um, is because of the generosity of the American public uh, and our volunteers are no exception to that. And you know, Gail, as, as you just mentioned, I mean, we, we talked about the, the heat wave that we dealt with, you know, along with wildfires. And now, you know, we're dealing with, with so much flooding. And as we see climate change causing devastation, is the Red Cross preparing for more natural disasters in the future? Well, we are working hard to build more capacity, uh, whether it's volunteers, whether it's shelters, um, whether it's supplies, um, because we are feeling the impact of this and the disasters are becoming unpredictable. I mean, a heat wave in Washington, um, you know, flooding in areas that normally don't flood, uh, it's, um, we're seeing the need grow and we're seeing the people that are staying in our shelters staying for longer periods of time. Uh, it's about an average of a month this past year. So, you know, and we won't close the shelter until everybody is situated. So it's, um, it's becoming more difficult and we're up at the challenge, but everything that we do is because of the generosity of the American public. So tomorrow is Give Big Tuesday, and it's a reminder that, uh, you know, so many people across the country need help meeting basic needs. So where does someone's money go when they donate to the Red Cross tomorrow, for example? And, and how can people best help those in need this holiday season? Well, first of all, the money goes to us fulfilling our mission. Um, we're not a government agency. We rely on the American public to enable us to respond to disasters, and we respond to about 60,000 disasters a year. Uh, the majority of them are just single family home fires. So uh, the, the dollars are, are put to good use. And the other way that people can help is to give the gift of life because right now our inventory is very low, the lowest it's been in a decade this time of the year. Uh, it's partly due to COVID where businesses and schools aren't standing up as many blood drives. And uh, during this holiday season, if, if uh, your viewers could roll up a sleeve and give the gift of life, it would be deeply appreciated. And you really feel good about yourself after you donate blood because you know you're saving someone's life. Absolutely. Gail McGovern, the president and CEO of the Red Cross, joining us this morning. Thank you so much. Bill, thank you. And for people that are interested in volunteering or donating blood or making a financial gift, redcross.org and every single gift is deeply, deeply appreciated.